Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through the divisibility rules for 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I dropped the link to the video for the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, and 5 down in the description. But let's jump right into the rules for 6 through 10. And remember, a number is divisible by another number if we can divide them and we don't get a remainder. So for example, 12 is divisible by 3. We can do 12 divided by 3, that equals 4, and we don't have a remainder. So let's jump right into it here, and we're going to start with 6. So a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and 3. So if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it's divisible by 6. So our example, 72, well, it ends in an even number. Therefore, 72 is even and divisible by 2. Now our rule for 3, if we add up our digits and then that sum is divisible by 3, then the whole number is divisible by 3. So 7 plus 2 equals 9. And 9 is divisible by 3, right? 9 divided by 3 equals 3 with no remainder. So 7 plus 2 equals 9. That's divisible by 3. That means 72 is divisible by 3. So 72 is both divisible by 2 and 3. Therefore, it's divisible by 6. Now 7 is kind of a complicated one here, so we might need to read it a couple times to get it down. A number is divisible by 7 if you double the last digit, subtract it from the rest of the number, and get a number that is divisible by 7. So what that means, we're going to take this last digit and double it. So 2 doubled is 4. So we need to take that 4 and subtract it from the rest of the number. So what's left is that 6 and 7. So let's do 67 minus 4. That's going to give us 63. Now, if we're left with a number that's divisible by 7, then that whole number is divisible by 7. So 63 divided by 7 equals 9, and we don't get a remainder. So 63 is divisible by 7. That means our whole number of 672 is divisible by 7. 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. So let's take a look at the last three numbers here. We have 168. So those last three digits, if they're divisible by 8, then the whole number is divisible by 8. And 168 divided by 8 equals 21 without a remainder. So those last three digits of the number are divisible, divisible by 8. Therefore, 5,168 is divisible by 8. On to 9 here. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9. I forgot an if there. I think I did down here as well. That's okay. So if all the digits added together are divisible by 9, then that whole number is divisible by 9. So let's add up all the digits. 5 plus 4 plus 0. 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 0 is 9. And 9 is divisible by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. So we added up all the digits. All those digits are divisible by 9. That means the 540 is divisible by 9. 
And lastly, finally, we have an easy one here. And uh, this one, like I said, easy one to remember and comes in handy. So a number is divisible by 10 if the number ends in zero. So if a number ends in zero, we know that it's going to be divisible by 10 automatically. So there you have it. There are the divisibility rules for six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.